assuming that you're a fairly normal buyer process, you need about 90 days to assume that you can get everything done that you need to get done to be into a new home. So regardless of when your lease ends, if you were to say, I want to be living in, sleeping in, eating in the kitchen of my new home by this date, then I want you to back up 90 days from that date. Doesn't mean you have to spend 90 days, but that's a reasonable amount of time. And let me tell you the things that need to happen during that time. You need to find a real estate advisor that you really can trust, an advisor that is not just like lives in that neighborhood, but that knows what they're doing, that has a track record of success, that does not work alone. If they're on vacation or they're in the hospital with their kid or whatever, somebody can back them up and make sure that your transaction still goes through and you're well protected. Ideally, it's an agent that can access properties that are not publicly available all over the internet already. And somebody that you enjoy being around because you're going to spend some time with them that you can trust and enjoy and they can make your life easier and honestly make buying fun. So you need about 90 days to find that person to begin to look online, to speak to a lender. I recommend Patrick Glaros um, to find out what you could comfortably afford, not just what the math says, but what you could comfortably afford to scout out some areas, to narrow in some areas, to go out and actively look at in the home of the final contenders. It shouldn't be 30 or 40 houses. It should be three, four or five final contenders only negotiate. Ideally, you get the one you want the first time, but you need to build in some time that you might wisely with discipline pass on one or two if the numbers get out of your comfortable range and factor in the time to do that. Factor in time for inspections and appraisals, surveys, all those things, and be prepared that if something were to happen, you want to have provided enough time in your calendar that you have you could comfortably back out and go find another one. And you don't feel pressured to deal with issues and problems that you otherwise wouldn't want to because you didn't give yourself enough time. Then you want to make sure you have time for financing approval, appraisals, any repairs that may need to be done. We just had a bunch of hail. Sometimes a hailstorm or things like that could slightly delay a closing because the seller might need to swap out a roof or something. You want to build in time to allow for the transaction to go really well and protect you and your family and your finances if those things are involved. Now, you don't always need that much time, but if you can give yourself that much time, that is a really wise time frame. Now, in an absolute pinch, if everything goes well, you could get that done in, say, 24, 25, 26 days. But a lot of things need to be lined up and go well to do that. It is not at all wise to expect that time frame to happen. On the flip side, some people just do not find a home they love, do not find a home that fits their price range. Sometimes it's six months. So the more time, the better. You cannot start the process too early, but a lot of people start that process too late.